some say miracles happen every day within the walls of the Anderson Cohen Weightlifting Center. This group here, this is it. This is it. We, we, we got, it's all hands on deck to slow this thing down, to give them better quality of life. The Get Excited and Move program was born out of a collaboration between Olympic coach Michael Cohen and the National Movement Alliance. The GEM program supports participants with movement difficulties and improves their overall health and fitness. Are you going to treat a disease? No. Right. But you can strengthen up the body, you can improve balance, you can improve strength, you can improve bone density so when the falls happen it's not catastrophic. You can do all those things and it's a community. Michael recognized a community need that was missing and in turn transformed that vision into a beacon of hope for so many. They can't go to a gym and work out. No one will work with them. No one wants to take a chance on working with them. And, and it's, it's a group of people that, that their, their bodies are deteriorating much faster than the average person. And then he noticed something special, something miraculous was happening. I've seen a transformation in individuals. A, a, a gentleman that comes in here that's in a wheelchair, next thing you know, three weeks, three months later, he's now got a walker. And a couple of months later, he's now walking. Rebecca Hayward is a lead instructor and teaches the GEM program. It became a situation where people were coming in and they weren't feeling like patients. They were feeling like people in a fitness class. The whole object is to feel better. If you feel better, you'll move better. Diagnosed with Parkinson's two years ago, John Powers was facing a choice, accept his condition or take action. So he started the GEM program. Then John had another setback that would have sidelined others, but not him. I had a stroke about uh, six weeks ago, and the doctor, both doctors told me that my workout regimen really helped mitigate the effects of the stroke. Everybody here is in the same boat, one degree or another, and it's very insp inspiring. Biebele, or B as she is affectionately known by the group, was a college athlete. When she was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis in 2011, she thought her athletic days were behind her until she started the class. But to using like mobility devices and aids to get around. And then I heard about the class and um, once I heard about it, it's like slowly, 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 I just start getting stronger. Like with every little move that we're doing or every little thing. And I didn't see it happening, but then I'm like, okay, I'm doing this workout and then a month later, I'm like, okay, I can lift my leg a little better. And don't let her support devices fool you. A lot of people are like, yeah, you know, you have MS. This is just going to lead to a wheelchair, and then you're just going to be stuck in a wheelchair. And I'm like, no, uh, it's possible to, like, get out of it and possible to move and get out of, you know, having to use what I'm using. For Tom and Kathy Burns, the road has been challenging. When Kathy developed Parkinson-like symptoms, it also impacted her memory. The medication is maybe holding holding her level, the improvement is coming from this class, I'm, I'm convinced. They say the GEM program has not only helped them face adversity, but strengthened an unbreakable bond together. An inability to always know who's around and who you are and who I am. I'm so proud of how she's been and she works really hard at it, you know, it's, so I'm really proud of her. And whether you are an Olympic hopeful or on the road to recovery, the Anderson Cohen Weightlifting Center is for everyone. It's right here. Whether you are a, a special needs individual, whether you are a, a Paralympic, whether you are just a mom wants to lose weight, you have all the tools here. You don't need to go anywhere else. It's right here. And don't just take Michael's word for it. Well, people ask me all the time, is it doing any good? And when I answer them, I say, the only way I'd know if it wasn't is if I stopped doing it. I'm not about to do that. I've seen it, and it hasn't taken long. It just staying consistent with it, but it's working and I'm thankful. Reporting for the Chatham County Public Information Office. Who knows what's next? That's right. Who knows what's next? Every day is a surprise. Robert Katniss.